is A.G. Jardine. I am a country singer-songwriter based in Richmond, British Columbia. I recently put out a self-titled debut EP that I recorded down in Nashville in March 2015. And these are a few of my favorite things. My favorite album cover is the band The Last Waltz. It's a pretty simple cover, but when I was growing up, my dad had the CD and the DVD around the house, and I never really listened to it until I was a bit older, but you know, just seeing that image around the house all the time, I would always just have, hold it in my hands for some reason, I don't know why, and just, it was a double CD, so that was really big in the 90s. And um, so I have the LP, in my house now and I listen to it all the time. I, I was a little reluctant when I was younger, but as I matured, so did my musical taste. And as well with my mom being a musician, just we had so many albums around the house all the time. And, and so, uh, yeah, it was hard to choose one, but that's definitely the one that sticks with me. One I haven't seen before is Marina Abramovic in her performance art. I did a lot of studying with her when I was, um, not studying with her, I studied about her uh, when I was studying uh, uh, contemporary arts at Simon Fraser University. Her concept of presence is something that really stuck with me when I was studying and, and it's really transferred over into my performance that I do now. That's a tough one too because I as of late, I've been listening to a lot of traditional country, a lot of new country, a lot of Americana. Um, but for someone that I really admire, she's around my age and her name's Casey Musgrave. She's an Americana country artist and her, I mean, her songwriting ability, her way, just her way of writing about situations, it's so conversational, but it's, it's so powerful. And just her voice as well, it's, yeah, I, I just recommend you just gotta check her out. I mean, I'll listen to her whole CD when I'm driving on a road trip, because it just, I just love it. <laughs> so I went with my friend to go and see Feist when she was playing in Vancouver last, and it was a pretty, you know, calm audience. Everyone's kind of just sitting in their seats, and she had this beautiful lighting show, and and these three background singers that had the most amazing harmonies I'd ever heard. And um, it wasn't until her very last song that she, I think it was I Feel It All, she did this total rock out version of it and it got everyone in up uh, out of their seats and they were standing and everyone's dancing. And then uh, to top it all off, when she came on for her encore, she said, hey, if anyone wants to come and sit on stage while I'm performing, come on up. And luckily I was in the, in the orchestra area. So my friend, she wanted to stay back, but I started running. I was like, oh, I'm not taking, missing this chance. So I literally, I sat right beside the drum set. It was such a cool experience and to look out into that audience and, and know that there's that many people watching this one performer and, and this band do this show that that was one of the moments when I I knew for sure I was like music is is where I need to be and that's what I need to do uh, besides singing and writing and, and being in the studio is really being outdoors you know I've I've grown up in Richmond I, I still live here and and it's it's such a beautiful landscape and I mean even if you just just look behind, like this is, this is awesome. Unfortunately, sometimes the mundane and daily routines stop me from, from being outdoors and being in nature as much as I'd like to be. Uh, so any opportunity I have to actually get out here and you know, I've had times where I just, I get inspiration to, to write or if I just bring my guitar and play. We're so disconnected from nature and I think it's really important that there's different organizations and different ways to get back to nature and to really take care of our environment and you know without getting too preachy you know we only have one world and yeah I just I I love being outside as much as I can I recently found out that I made it to the top 10 of this competition in Vancouver called the Breakthrough Country Music Project 
and it's a, an amazing opportunity for new and upcoming country artists and so I have um, my second showcase is at the Roxy on Sunday January 17th I'm playing right at 8 p.m. sharp and I'm gonna be playing a lot of original music some new some for my EP uh, so definitely come and check it out I'm AJ Jardine and thank you so much for listening to a few of my favorite things <laughs>